All right, everybody, this is a quick video to let you know how to set up Mumble for the open server. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to launch our browser. I use Google Chrome. So we're going to go to Google and we're going to type Mumble. And top link here, the mumble.sourceforge.net is where we're going to go. I'll put a link to this in the description, but this is the website to download it. You download the Windows version if you're on a Windows machine, you download the OS 10 version if you're on a Mac, and of course if you have Linux you can download the servers here, but you do not want the servers on a Linux machine, you want the client, and to get the clients you need to check with your distribution. So really this tutorial is best for Mac and Windows users. So let's get the 1.23a stable version. You click the link, uh, it'll tell you that it's going to start, it's going to th throw some ads up. I'm going to blank these ads out just because you know, they're not associated with our channel. All right, and the download is started. So as you can see, it goes pretty quick. It's not a huge file. A lot of it will depend on how good your internet connection is. All right, once you've downloaded it, you can launch it. Now with Chrome, you can just click on the icon, and it's going to come up and ask if you want to run the file. We're going to say yes. We're going to run it. We can go ahead and close Chrome at this point. All right, now the mumble has come up, and uh, we're going to go ahead and say next. We're going to accept the terms. We're going to say next, and we're going to stick with all the default settings here. We don't want the server, so we're going to say next, and then we're going to hit install. Now, it is going to pop up a thing here in a second, but um, we'll wait for that. All right, so this pops up, and um, you're going to want to just say yes to this. That basically is installing the certificate that uh, Mumble uses so that you can have secure communication. All right, so it's finished now. Now, what you can see is we have a Mumble icon on the desktop. Now, you could have launched it right away, right after the install, uh, but we're not going to worry about that yet. So you've got Mumble installed now. Now what you need to do is configure your Mumble for your hardware, for your headset, your microphone, and then, of course, add servers. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to launch it. Now, the first thing that's going to come up when you launch Mumble for the first time is it's going to take you right to the audio wizard. If you've already installed Mumble and you didn't do this wizard, you may have to go back and redo it. Now, I can't do the wizard um, because I'm running this on a virtual Windows 7. I can step you through how you'll use it, and it'll kind of look like it's working, but um, it's going to look a little different. So we're going to hit Next. And here, you're going to pick your uh, hardware devices. This is where you're going to pick your headphones um, and your headset and your microphone and everything. And you can leave enabled positional audio and you can attenuate um, when other users talk or you can turn this off. Uh, some people like having that off so that they the sound doesn't change when other people are talking inside other games. That's up to you. All right. So now in this one, you're going to hear a, a speech being uh, repeated over and over and over. You want to turn this dial all the way to the left as far as you can and still have the audio sound good. So I can take it all the way down to 10 milliseconds and it sounds fine. If you can take it down that far, please do. All right, so this next part, you're going to be talking. Um, you want to, when you talk, it's going to, this little indicator is going to move. Now it's not moving much for me because I'm doing this under emulation, but you want to slide this down so the green is really close to what your voice reaches when you whisper, but not when you talk like I am right now. And then you're going to hit next. All right. Now what you see as I'm talking, the red line moves forward. You want to slide this slider. If you're going to use, um, let it uh, recognize your speech and then start broadcasting. So what you do is you slide this down and whenever your voice goes over into the green, then it broadcasts it. So like if you're whispering, it wouldn't register. But if you talk fully, it'll register and then it'll transmit it. If you have a good, quiet environment, you can do this. This frees your hands up. Uh, but if you don't, if there's a lot of noise in the background, uh, people in the room while you're playing, set it to push to talk. And then you can program a key in here, hit a key that you want to hit to talk. Uh, you do not have to talk if you don't want to on the open server. That's up to you. But this is how you would set this slider 
if you were going to be doing it with uh, the raw amplitude option so it picks up your speech and then just broadcasts. And then, of course, you'd click here and you'd hit a key. Um, you know, it says press shortcut. We'll hit like control. So the control key would be my talk key. So we're going to go ahead and leave it on amplitude for this example. And we'll hit next. Then it's going to ask you for quality settings. Um, you can leave it at balanced. You can turn it up to high if you want. If you've got a real good internet connection, set it at high. Um, I recommend that you disable text to speech. That will it will speak different things that people type in the chat channel, and it will just annoy you. And now this will do an example of the sounds moving around you. If you've got headphones, make sure you check the headphone button. If you don't, uh, leave it unchecked. But it lets you see that it's able to position around left to right because Mumble will support some games. Um, and if a player's like talking to you, like if I'm playing uh, Left 4 Dead with Giz and Giz is to the right of me, uh, in the game, his character, when I hear him talk, I'd hear it from the right side. And then after you click next, you come to the finish screen. And this is where it wants to know if you'll send anonymous statistics about your system. Um, you know, the settings you used and all that uh, to Mumble so that they can better enhance the product in the future. I always do this, but if you're really worried about it, you can uncheck it. It's anonymous statistics, so it doesn't have anything about you. So we hit finish. Now we're done with the wizard. The next thing it asks you to do is certificate authentication. So you want to do this authentication at least once. So we'll just hit next, leave it on automatic, hit next, hit finish. If you forget to do either of those, you can go under the configure and do the audio wizard or certificate wizard again if you didn't do those the first time. Or maybe you did the audio wizard and you're, you're not set up right. So this is showing you all kinds of uh, public Mumble servers. Now you want to close these. You don't really care about these because the server that you're going to use for the crew, open server, is a private server and it won't show up in this listing. So you can click the little triangle just to get rid of them. So here's how you're going to set it up. Now remember, you won't have the information to put in this next section until the day of the open server when I email all the information out to everybody. So I'm going to show you what you would do, but you're going to be lacking the address of the server and the port number. So we're going to click Add New. And then here is a label. This is just a name that you want to call it. So for this, you could say something like Crew Open Server. You could say Crew July Open Server, you know, whatever you want. The next one here is the important one. This is the address. Now, this is what you will get given to you if you made it into the open server in an email the day of the server. Now, it won't be a number like that. This is a test mumble server I have running on my local network here you'll get something that'll be like party with the crew dot fun time dot com. And I'll, you know, that'll be the address. Of course that's made up, so don't try it. But whatever I tell you, the address of the server is you're going to put that in here. And then I'm going to tell you the port number for your, your slot. And that's what you're going to put here. Now for username, put your Minecraft name. Okay. It's very important that your username and mumble, match your username in Minecraft. If it doesn't, and we're looking at somebody who's logged into Minecraft with some name, and we can't find their name in, in Mumble matching, we're going to knock that person out of, of the Minecraft server. You have to be on both so we know who you are. They have to match because we want to make sure everybody can hear us. So once we've done that, we'll click OK. And you can see here, it's already picked up that the server's there, and it's already showing the ping time. So I've got the server and I would just hit connect. Now I'm not going to connect to the, to the mumble server right now because no one's on it. And this isn't even the server we're going to use. So I'm gonna hit cancel. If you click this little icon right here, that will mute you. That means that you will not transmit any audio. So if you don't want to talk, your microphone's messed up. You don't have a microphone. Um, something's bugging you, you know, someone is running the vacuum or whatever. Click this button and your microphone is completely muted and nobody will hear you. But you're going to want to mute yourself if for some reason, you know, you don't want to be heard at all or for some reason at that moment. So that's pretty much all you need to know how to do. Uh, and like I said, if you've got the information, if, or if you've made it to the open server, look forward to that email the morning of the open server, the 16th of June, only a few days away. It'll contain the IP and port from Mumble, and it will contain the IP and port 
for Minecraft. And that's all you'll need. And you'll be able to join up and play with us. So we hope to see you guys there. Take care.